Yo, what is going on, guys? My name is Nolan. Welcome back to NFL Talks with your host, Nolan Roberts, and welcome. Now, I just want to say thank you for the recent support. We just hit 22 whole subscribers. Let's keep it up. Uh, the past three videos have actually been uh, blowing up, so uh, keep showing the support. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you are new, hit that like button down below if you enjoy this video, and comment down below what type of video I should do next. Now, five teams who just always seem to have good running backs. Now, let's get right into this. At the number five spot, we have the Buffalo Bills. Um, what I think is their best running back of their franchise is definitely O.J. Simpson, the first ever running back to get 2,000 or more rushing yards. Uh, his career totals were 11,236 yards with 61 touchdowns. Um, also having some awards of six Pro Bowls, five consecutive All-Pros, and he led the league in rushing five times as well as winning an Offensive Player of the Year award and a two-times touchdown leader. And then, you know, they have the four-time Super Bowl appearance running back, Thurman Thomas, with over 12,000 yards, over uh, 65 touchdowns, and five consecutive Pro Bowls, as, as well as two consecutive All-Pros and an MVP, and as well as having eight different seasons with 1,000 or more rushing yards. Definitely a quite a feat to have. Um, and then LaShawn McCoy, over 11,000 yards, 73 rushing touchdowns, six-time Pro Bowler, two-time All-Pro, and a one-time Super Bowl champ, uh, which obviously, you know, was last year with the Kansas City Chiefs in 2019. Six seasons with 1,000 or more yards. Definitely, definitely a future Hall of Famer. You know, obviously, you know, he was on the All-Decade all team, uh, All-Decade team, excuse me, up to up the 2010s. And at the number four spot, we have the Cleveland Browns, obviously, you know, one of the greatest players of all time. In my opinion, the greatest running back to ever live, Jim Brown, uh, played in 12 and 14 game eras with over 12,000 yards, 106 touchdowns, nine consecutive Pro Bowls in the nine seasons that he played, eight of those seasons getting the All-Pro, three-time MVP, five-time touchdown leader, and an eight-time yard leader. Just absolute dumb numbers. He has the high, he's, you know, first in rushing yards per game with over 100, has five yards of carry. An absolute tank. You know, Leroy Kelly um, having two, over 7,000 yards, 74 touchdowns, and six consecutive Pro Bowls. Also uh, being an NFL champion, a three times touchdown leader. And now a current player for their squad, Nick Chubb, in his first three seasons, getting 3,500 yards and 28 touchdowns, two consecutive Pro Bowls, and in two of those seasons, getting 1,000 more yards, which I'm pretty sure the, his uh, rookie year, he was four yards short of 1,000. So just a cool thing to think about. At the number three spot, we have the Tennessee Titans slash Houston Oilers. Uh, at the number one spot, we have Earl Campbell with over 9,000 yards in the short span that he played 74 touchdowns, five-time Pro Bowler, three-time All-Pro, and he had three consecutive Offensive Player of the Year awards in 79, 80, and 81, which is, was his first three seasons. Absolute dumb numbers. Eddie George with over 10,000 yards, 68 touchdowns, four times consecutive Pro Bowler, has an All-Pro, and has five seasons with 1200 or more yards definitely a crazy feat and a current player for their squad as well Derek Henry the most recent 2000 yard rusher with uh over um excuse me 5800 yards 55 touchdowns two time consecutive pro bowler uh I'm pretty sure this is going to be his second all pro I'm pretty sure his third 1000 yard season and you know obviously he has a 2000 yard season as well behind him and he's the first player since Ladanian Tomlinson to have two rushing titles back to back. So, so also a cool thing to think uh, to think about. And in the number two spot, we have the Dallas Cowboys. Obviously, you know the all-time leading rusher in Emmitt Smith with over eighteen thousand has one hundred and sixty-four touchdowns. Also, first place, eight-time Pro Bowler, four-time All-Pro, three-time Super Bowl champ, and an MVP winner. Absolute tank. Tony Dorsett and played in the era before him with over 12,000 yards, 77 touchdowns, four-time Pro Bowler, one-time All-Pro, and a Super Bowl champion, and five consecutive seasons with 1,000 more yards. And also another current player for their team, Ezekiel Elliott with over 6,000 yards, 46 touchdowns, three-time Pro Bowler, one-time All-Pro, and three seasons with 1,300 or more yards in just his first five years. Crazy stats to think about. And in the number one spot, we have... The, I guess you could say, St. Louis slash Los Angeles Rams. At the number one spot, we have Marshall Falk with 16,000 plus yards from scrimmage, over 130 touchdowns, seven-time Pro Bowler, three-time All-Pro, three-time Offensive Player of the Year, one-time MVP, one-time Super Bowl champ. And then in the second place, you have Eric Dickerson, who holds the season record for most yard rushing yards in a season with 2,105, has thir over 13,000 rushing yards, 90 touchdowns, six Pro Bowls, five All-Pros, an Offensive Player of the Year award, and he led the league in yards 
four times. And then another active player, we have Todd Gurley, who's now on the Falcons. But, it, you know, since getting drafted in 2015, he has 6,000 rushing yards, 67 touchdowns, three-time Pro Bowler, two-time All-Pro, one-time Offensive Player of the Year in 2017, and has two different seasons with 13 or more touchdowns, as well as having a 2,000 plus yards from scrimmage, which I believe was in 2017 when he won Offensive Player of the Year, and also making a Super Bowl appearance in 2018. Definitely got a lot of information out in that little time. There's also some, you know, honorable mentions like, you know, Frank Gore for the Bills, Jamal Lewis for the Browns, Chris Johnson for the Titans, you know, Herschel Walker for the Cowboys, and Steven Jackson for the um, the Rams. But all those teams just always seem, excuse me, to have a just insane running back like team. Like their, you know, their running back position is just always stacked, always stacked. You know, obviously, you know, you literally have. A lot of Hall of Famers on here, you know, Thurman Thomas, O.G. Simpson are both Hall of Famers. I'm pretty sure Leroy Kelly's a Hall of Famer, do not quote me on it. As well as Jim Brown, Earl Campbell, um, Emmett Smith, Tony Dorsett, Marshall Falk, Eric Dickerson, like, and there's also some future Hall of Famers here uh, as well. Now, again, thank you guys for showing the immense support. I really do appreciate it. Um, make sure to hit that subscribe button, tell your friends if they watch football, let them know what is going on. Um, I really appreciate all the things you guys do um still trying to get better at the commentating and the uh you know the editing and i kind of want to get some uh more entertainment in there so let me know on some ways that i can do that uh anyways guys thanks for tuning into this video this is the nfl talk show with your host nolan roberts and uh i'll see you in the next one